Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy purple shampoo. Now, for those of you who would be sitting there thinking, why do you want purple shampoo? Let me show you some images of what purple shampoo can do for people with blonde hair or gray hair. As you can see, blonde hair can take on some really gold tones. So purple shampoo helps it appear more of a white blonde rather than a yellow or brassy blonde, which is often quite undesirable. So too for gray hair. Gray hair looks much better when it's got a silver look compared to when it's got a yak yellow look. So this is where purple shampoo can really help. Let me show you how easy it is to create this type of product. This is the product we're gonna be making here. As you can see, it's got quite violet tones and this helps offset those yellow tones that are undesirable in the brassy blondes and of course, the silver hair that's not quite silver anymore. Now to create this product, we start with Unicert Violet. Now you can use really small amounts of this material if you wanna just uh, tone a product a pale purple. Uh, for staining the hair, and we really want to stain the hair a little to offset those brassy tones, we still only need to use 0.1%. So I'm gonna put this into the water phase first. Now in this particular example, I'm gonna make my job really easy using Isolux Ultra Mild. You would have seen me use this in the tear-free shampoo video. Not only is this product extremely mild, but it's a combination of surfactants in one product, which means if I'm manufacturing this product, I only need to buy one drum of surfactants rather than three or four different drums of materials. So it makes it a very economical and easy purchase, especially since, as you can see, it's cold processable. And to show you just how easy it is to work with this material, I'm mixing by hand. You can see this material also builds its own viscosity. I haven't had to adjust pH, add salt or anything and you can see the viscosity is already there. Now, we have quite a dark product. You can leave it like that if you want, but I'm gonna make it prettier. I'm gonna add a pearlescent material. This is Perlogen SF, and this particular material contains a non-ionic and amphoteric material as well, as well as the glycol disdierate, which is my pearlizing agent. In this blend, it means I can add it cold, I don't need to heat, I can just add it straight into my formula and again, mix using low shear and to demonstrate how easy it is to use this material, I'm again simply hand mixing. And look at how it's really transformed that product and given it a wow pearlescent effect. And of course that vibrant violet that the blondes and silver hairs love to offset those brassy tones. All that's left is to add preservative, any fragrance, conditioning additives or added extras you want to make the product truly your own. Mix them through and you're done. Of course, that's just one way of putting this product together. The key features were to use that violet material to give that beautiful violet effect, but will also stain the hair to offset brassy yellow tones. It's not enough to turn the hair purple, it simply offsets those brassy tones that are otherwise quite undesirable. I created this video because I was asked, how do you make a purple shampoo? So make sure you keep asking for video content you'd like to see. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive all our notifications. Happy formulating.